Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So today I thought I'd uh, check out Planet Zoo franchise mode. I have already played a bit of this. Three things happened. Firstly, I made a zoo that went horribly in debt. Second time I tried to record, or sorry, that was the second time. The first time I tried, it kept crashing. And this is the third attempt. So I'm hoping everything will go well, but I don't know. So this will be interesting. So this is kind of a more sandbox, what I would enjoy doing probably. The campaign will be fun when it comes out, but for me, this is where most of the fun is. So let me just set the time here to be constantly sunny and midday. Beautiful. Look at that. Like the graphics of this are absolutely splendid, by the way. Absolutely loving it. So we've got $40,000. I don't know how I managed, like, I was minus $21,000 at one point. <laughs> but what, what went wrong, I would have shown you that, but there was no mouse. Uh, hopefully you can see the mouse now. Let me just double check. Yes, you can see the mouse. Before, I couldn't see the mouse, and it, it made watching the video not very good, and I want to hopefully make good videos here on the channel, so I, uh, you know, I deleted the content, unfortunately. But, yeah, anyway, we're here. And now, at least, I kind of know what I'm doing as well, which is nice. So, line to grid. Look at this. So, first things first, I want to do is make a little entrance here. I don't want to spend all my money. I want to be pretty careful here on not splurging the cash like I did last time. So, that is the main thing. And all I care about this episode is making a little profitable little zoo. Or, uh, yeah, what I'm saying. So, there we go. All right, line to grid. There we go. Boom. Actually, shouldn't that give me the option to select a grid? So you're going to have staff paths. So this is, I kind of did this in my last, um, select grid. Selecting grid. Oh, now it's going to, oh, I already had it selected. Okay. But yeah, anyway, this is pretty cool because you can have like staff only zones, which is kind of cool. All right. Selecting grid. Here we go. Going to do the same again. And I'm, I'm doing big paths, by the way, because I like it a lot. No, big paths look cool. And you don't have as much uh, congestion when you have a popular park. Although, arguably, you don't need that other stuff. Can I not move this? Okay, you know what? We're going to just keep a tree there for now. Kind of looks like I meant to do it. So these ones I can probably move, right? Yes. Hello? Move. All right. Sweet! Okay, let me show you what is going on. So, the first thing I need, facilities. I'm way ahead of you guys. So, facilities, what you need is all these buildings. So, you need, like, shops. You need uh, the keeper huts. Uh, that's near the enclosures, though. You need the quarantine. You need the vets. You need the... And it's actually pretty helpful. It gives you the list. The trade center, the veterinary, the workshop. It tells you everything you need. So, what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually do all these things. So, workshop here. Let's do that. Let's turn that round. Angle snap. 9.45. There you go. I want everything to look bubble, guys. It's important. So, if I can just put that there like that. And then, so that... Oh, we need a quarantine. Look at that. Perfectly bubble. Beautiful. So we've got that, uh, we need a info shop we don't need just yet. Uh, the keeper needs to be in the enclosures. That was a quarantine, so now we need a veterinary little place here. So we just pop that here. Boom. Uh, toilets we don't need. Staff building we'll have, absolutely. So staff buildings are like restrooms i guess or just areas where the staff can relax and kind of regain their energy which is pretty important so let's put this in this is the what is this <laughs> research center what else do we need there's two more things keep a heart trade center trade center where it all happens boom that's great awesome so now we have all these kind of uh buildings all a nice little line it's away from the park so when you're in the park you can't really see that stuff i mean you can see the windows but that's okay doesn't matter too much. Uh, one thing we need is a bit of power. So let's go. Oh, wait. We don't need power just yet. Obviously, you've got this blue circle. It's a new feature. I mean, it's not technically new. It was in the dinosaur game that they recently did. Uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, sorry. Uh, 
but there we go. We have these like blue zones that show you where you need power. That's good. We also need water. So water is something I'm going to put in here. I'm going to put it just here. There you go. Great. The water thing. And that should do it for now in terms of stuff. The other thing we need is like guest facilities. So we need, uh, let's go ahead, guest facilities. There we go. So we've got a drink stall. Let's whack one of these in. Drink stall. Hey, need a beverage? No problem. Got you covered. Little shop. A uh, little chief beef. There we go. Uh, what else we got? Little Planet Zoo shop. What's in here? Oh, it's like a pre-made template. Okay. Info. So when people come in, they want to buy a map. There we go. Nice. So you walk in, grab your map. Grab your drink <laughs> and sit back and relax. Nice. So I need a, a bathroom here. So uh, let's try and put this not so close to all this stuff. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if I put it over here. Uh, I do want a little. That looks good. And I'll put another in. Uh, no, no, no. We're trying to save money here. So I basically spent all my money on shops. I can see what happened before, actually. Yes, this escalated. I can see it now. Wasn't really paying attention. I'm so used to playing sandbox games without paying attention to that stuff. So I need to be careful. Uh, right, so looking good. Now we just need some stuff. So we need one, two, three, three. We need one caretaker. Bam. We need one keeper. We need one mechanic. We need one security guard. Actually, you could probably live without the security... What the? Hello? Put that back. Can I just delete you? Uh, see you later. <laughs> just fight. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, so we need one, two, three. There we go. So we've got three vendors. Nice. And then one vet. Sweet. There we go. Awesome. That's all the people we need. Obviously, for vendors... It'd be ideal to have another person, just in case one of these guys want to go on a break, but we don't have that luxury. So, yeah, we're going to have to go without. Right. Next up, let's get some, uh... By the way, sorry to say, I'm going to put in a little cash machine here. I do want to put some trees and stuff, but I'm trying to save money, okay? Presentation will come later. All right. Are we, are we good with that? Noise. So, it's been about 10 minutes, and I haven't placed in a single animal, so if you haven't already liked the video, now's a good time to appreciate the thing. What am I doing? So, first thing we need is to buy an animal. Alright, what should we get here? So, we can't buy anything that. We need to buy filter, cash listings only. Uh, so, there's two currencies, the kind of like the reputation currency, I kind of guess you'd call it, and then the actual money. Uh, so, we want... Let's do something nice and simple that I've done before. Uh, and is cheap. I want something nice and cheap. Uh, let's go for a couple of ostrich. Good option. There we go. Ostrich. Ostrich. Male and female. You know what that means. Easy. Nice. And now we're going to build a little exhibit. So let's just grab our path here. And... Selecting grid, there we go. Just extend this out a little bit. I like everything nice and isometric and kind of right angles and all that rest of it, so it's important to me. Um, right, so now I've always done the brick walls. I don't know if you can use the wood walls for ostrich. Need to play the game a little bit more. What do we need? Keep her. Oh, we'll get onto that, no worries. Um, but yeah, so. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so here's where. You've got two options. You either try and do it absolutely bubble, or you kind of commit to never doing it bubble. I should probably say, if you've never seen my videos before, bubble kind of means like absolutely straight on. All right, I'm going to change some of these to glass. Why is that there? That's very confusing. No, where's my glass? There we go. <laughs> Almost got rid of it completely. And then we'll do a, a window over this side. Edit barrier. Here we go. There you go. So you can see in the different points and also this little area. We need a door as well. Can we do a wooden gate? No. You need a brick gate. Do I not have a brick gate? 
Oh wait, I bet I can. I just need to do it on a path. There we go. So, I'm going to do this over here. Oh, we want it on that side though. Reason being is because I'm going to do a staff path here. We're going to make it nice and thin. This is going to be the perfect plan. So, I've done that, right? And what I need to do is kind of make this go along a bit. There we go. And then we are going to put a facility and it's going to be, what was the little exhibit? But staff facilities. And it is going to be the Keeper Hut, which is a little zone where people can go and do their stuff. So Keeper Hut, small, there we go. And my love-hate relationship with placing paths in Frontier Games continues. And now we can actually see through into the habitat. What a neat idea, cool. Uh, so, we've got a little area here. We've made it, you know, almost there, but we need a couple of things. Firstly, I'm gonna edit the barrier here. And actually force it up to this corner here. Perfectly bubble, as all things should be. <laughs> there we go, nice. That's a bit better. So, when guests come in, obviously they pay a fee to come in. But what you can also do is you can go ahead and do a little donation box near the little areas in which people can go and look. Uh, you can also put, put like educational boards and stuff around. So, I'm going to go do that as well. Here we go. We're going to do a little thing here. Then you select what you have put in here. There you go. So, people can learn about it. Nice. So, uh, we're going to go to our... Animal storage. Move to here. Uh -huh. Move to here. And while they're doing that, we're going to build the little habitat. So, os. There we go. Nice. So, we're going to do a little small shelter. Going to place in some medium bedding. There we go. It tells you the animals it's for, which is kind of is good. Here we go. So, water truck. So we need a food bowl, large. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it kind of near the gate so the person doesn't have to walk too far. And then I'm going to have the water pipe around here. There you go. So if they want to drink, they go near the glass and the guests are happy. Nice. All right, let's see how we're getting on here. So enrichment. Need toys. We don't have any toys right now. But we can do some, some stuff. Low on cash. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. We're going into a, okay, but hopefully now guests will start coming in. Yeah, awesome. So can we charge? Oh, we got three dollars. Okay. Maps. I want to put all the prices up just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. No vendor. You haven't done anything. God. Oh, heading to staff building. See, this is... Okay, all right. We're buying one more. <sighs> there we go. Missing sales here, lads. So, put all the price up a little bit. Put a little price up, put a little price up. And then it's the same across all the stuff. Nice. There you go. Nice! And there you go. They're looking at the ostrich. It's a great time. you got the beautiful, beautiful ostrich. It's a great time to be alive. Uh, one thing we also need a little bit is some like benches and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is in facilities. Strangely. Is it facilities? Yeah, it is. Look at that. So we'll do a bench there. Do a bench here. Don't need to go too crazy. And we'll do some bins. Uh, do one here. And one here. There you go. We've got a caretaker, so it's all good. Alright, so as you can see, we need to work on the terrain a little bit. So we need to... Needs more short grass and less long grass. So, let's go to terrain here. Painting. So we need more short grass. Oh man, that's big. There you go. Get rid of that. There we go. And needs a bit more soil. So add a bit more soil here in the grass. And now everything is green. You see, it's easy when you know what you're doing. 
And there we go. Enrichment, unfortunately, we don't have. But if I'm right, I think what you can do is go to your mechanic here. Oh, no, it's like it. Oh, wait, what's going on? What's the matter with her? Can't find... What's wrong with you? I don't know. She's moaning about something. There you go. That's cool. All right. Sweet. So the ostrich are happy. The people are happy. Get them spending their money. I think what you're probably supposed to do is probably do the exhibit first, like the smaller stuff. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to see if it's possible to do it like this, because this is how I would play it normally. But yeah, I mean, these, these guys are happy. Animal rating, so one. Mm, everything else is good, though. Welfare, nutrition, social is good. Just the enrichment, but we can't do it. Uh, let's see if we can do some research here. So, oh yeah, we can get like a uh, scorpion or something. Let's get some frogs. They're kind of cool. All right, so I'm sat here. <laughs> oh, 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 hang on. I forgot to do it. Ostrich. So there we go. You get a little education board about the ostrich. And now people will be more interested and give us a better rating. That's great. So there you go. See, it went up a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do... I think, which I didn't do last time, is do a bit of um, marketing. I think that would be helpful. So, go to marketing here and we do poster campaign. There we go. It's nice and cheap. It's nice and cheerful. There we go. So, that'll last a year. But hopefully, that'll bring more people in. We'll get our money back. Hopefully. I don't know if that's true. But you never know. So, anyway... Uh, what we want to do is go to research here. So you can actually put one of your vets in to do research. And that will help with that. Which is cool. Mechanic research. So this is where you do your research for various things. Um, I would like a souvenir shop. So I would like to put him in there. There we go. Brilliant. Alright, I'm going to fast forward it now and actually see what happens. So... Looking at the money, we're making a little bit of a profit. Yay! Okay. It says minus 98, but I think that's... There we go. So it goes up a little bit. goes up and down. All right. Well, there we go. We're making a profit. We're starting to make a profit, guys. $200. Hey, nice. I mean, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. <laughs> but we're going to have to scrape by for now. Unless I start selling... Can I sell trees? Oh, I can. Let's cut down trees. There we go. For money. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Wait, no, actually, that's costing me money. No! I, <laughs> I thought that would be giving me money. I didn't notice the minus sign. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> that was really funny. Can I move this tree? It's really in the way. I guess that really annoyed you guys. There we go. All right, guys. I literally, I feel like I've been pretty smart about this. I built one exhibit. I didn't go crazy. <laughs> and I'm already in debt. I don't, like, I don't really get it. Now, what am I doing wrong? Other than, the only thing I can think of is maybe, like, those prices. No, we don't even have a vendor right now. I turned every, I've turned, put everything down. Come on. Okay, literally, I have no idea what to do, guys. I'm going to take out a loan here. Just so I can actually do something and add to the park. Because right now, I can't add to anything. And it's just going to be a really slow descent into I have no money. Which really sucks. So, let me just do some stuff here. And see if I can rescue my park. Because uh, otherwise, it's going to be a real shame. <laughs> it's going to be a real, real shame. Alright, let's buy a little... Alright, so I bought a spider. <laughs> um, one spider. I'm changing the temperature of the exhibit here. Oh, it needs to be 30. What does that need to be? Let's see. There we go. 24. Alright, so one thing I'm kind of learning here is I need to do research before putting it into the exhibit. So, uh, let's go and do that. 
Uh, we can do some vet research here. There we go. And that will allow us to increase this stuff, which is cool. And let's let's fast forward. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look, there you go. There it is. I adopted a spider. It happened, guys. Oh, it's kind of creepy. All right, I put in the spider. <laughs> I'm putting the ostrich. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm like, I'm doing everything I can here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to put in. I'm not on cash again. Like, I feel like I'm not doing a lot, but I'm still kind of. Uh... Let me just put the spider stuff on here. Like I'm doing, I feel like what I should. And it's not really working, you know? Uh, let me just put a little donation bucket near here. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Maybe you guys can help me out a little bit in the comments. But I've just jumped in here, done what I think was fairly sensible stuff. Maybe I just need to start with, like, exhibits and not start with animals. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um... Right, there we go. You can stop that now. Hmm. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is the second time I've made a zoo. I've put in the bare minimum. And one exhibit. And I've run out of money. And I'm playing this, regardless of whether or not I'm being a moron. I'm playing this how I think most people would play it. So, I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.